Now, listen to me. And I'm not going to repeat myself. If you are sure that you did not poison this food, then eat it. Are you not my cook? Yes, my king. Good. I trusted you with my life and the life of my family. So eat the food. You don't want to obey the king, isn't it? You don't want to eat the food. You can't believe me. Eat this food. You don't want to. Guards, carry this food. Force it. That means no, 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 no. Force it into her mouth. No, mother. Now. No, no. Stop it. Stop it. Mother, please. Why are you saving her? I'm not trying to save her. Listen, Nkem. You've been the one taking care of us all these years. Please, I don't want you to die for nothing. At least tell us the truth so that you don't die for nothing. I don't want to believe you actually poisoned this food. Ha, my princess, do I more. I see him, you go lie, you go lie. I see you when you put that man. I see you when you the poison and the poison. You look at her, you won't poison your king. You have to do for this food. Fat, you look at her. Oh, Belle. You can't beat that man. Ha, no, don't beat her. Just leave that. I trusted you so much with every fiber in my flesh. I did. Mm. Why? And I made you to be in charge of my feeding and that of my family. Why? My king, I'm not an evil person. So who made you do it? I just want to know why you did what you did. Why? Talk! Talk now, I will not hear listening to you. Talk! Why did you do that? I did it because this man here is a wicked man. What? Yes, I did it. I poisoned the food. What? I did it. Why? What did my father do to you that you wish him dead? Start speaking. I mean, start speaking. You can't do him. How could you? How could you? Now speak! I am so disappointed in you! Honestly, don't be disappointed in me, my princess. If you were in my shoes, you would have done worse. Shut up! And if there is anyone here who you should be disappointed in, it's your, this wicked man here. Shut up! Shut up! How dare you! Do you still remember that I'm the king of this kingdom? Who are you? Talk! I'm that little girl. That little girl you have a father thrown into the prison. I grew up without a father. And my mother told me you allowed my father to die in prison. And I've waited patiently for this day to avenge my father's death. What? Who is your mother? Ubondo is my mother. What? Oh my God. Ubondo is your mother? Yes, my queen. But you told me you're an orphan. Yes, I did. You lied to us. Now I remember Isaac Aguarando. I'm sure your mother would not tell you the truth. How your father murdered his parents. Who would have been your grand? today she will not tell you the truth no my king my father did not murder anyone shut up were you there when the incident took place did he mm -mm. Answer. can you imagine yourself can you imagine how you have bought such hatred for an innocent man like me your father about what happened to him. Simple. I know your mother cannot wait to feed you with the truth of how she feels now. That is if she's still alive. She's still alive, my king. Hi. That makes it easier. 
And that will be my only reason for allowing you now. So that you will go seek the truth. After which, I will release the full dose, full dose of punishment to you because you want me dead, the king of this kingdom. I will release the full dose of punishment to you. God, I don't want to behold her face again. Take her away! You get out of my sight! Taking in this one. Hmm? 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 Yes. As partaker of life or what? I'm partaking of this one. I go. Just don't involve yourself here. This is for me alone. If you want your own food, you cook it yourself. For you alone? <laughs> Come on, sis. Remember, I am your younger sister. Which is the reason you should be the one cooking for everybody as the baby of the house, not the other way around, okay? Come on, sis. But I can't start spending all my life in the kitchen while others are desk laying. Really? Yes. <laughs> Girlfriend, you must be on a dream island. So you better get ready because it's happening right before our faces, okay? Get ready. I can't. <laughs> you have to take the place of the cook pending when we get a professional cook, last born. Hey, God, though, I didn't choose to be the last born of the house to suffer. Anyways, I am going right away to talk to Father about this. I am sure he will listen to me. You better do because he listens to you as the last born of the house, okay? But I'm still going to eat this. Hmm? Hmm? I'm still going to eat this. Please, can you leave? You're distracting me. Can you go? Okay. Don't worry, I'll call you, I'll be sharing it for you. Little. What kept you in the kitchen for so long? Really? My friend, calm down and serve us food. Father, please. You have to get a cook as soon as possible. I can't be doing this all the time. For goodness sake, I am a princess. Princess indeed, my younger sister. You are. But don't forget, you are the baby of the house. And in the absence of the cook, you step in to do all the chores and also cook our food. So don't complain. <laughs> what is that one? Beauty about showcasing yourself while she's in the kitchen. Mom, does our work. What is your routine? Uh, uh, oh, it's okay. Urem. Ure, baby. Yeah, it's okay. Huh? I appreciate your effort for making sure there is food. Mm -hmm. Just serve the food. I'm making strong contacts to getting a new cook. Mm -hmm. And the new cook will arrive very soon. <laughs> no, Father, I, I, I don't think that's a wise decision, you know. And you want to get another cook so soon after the shock the previous one gave to us. It doesn't make sense. Why do you want to get another cook when Renda is here? For you? Yes, mother. Look at you, you princesses. Look at the way you're kissing yourselves. This is a palace. A cook is paramount. That is why we are all making arrangements to get one. So that the person takes over the cooking while we have peace in this house. Mother, Biko, I don't care where they're bringing the cook from. My own is you people should investigate him properly. I don't know what happened previously to beat itself again. I cannot take it. Me, I'm even scared. Exactly my point. Because I'm really scared. Even this food, I don't even know. Like, I'm really scared. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know who to trust again. As a food that I should be cooking. Me? Yes! When she's there, what's the work of Urena? Then you're scared of eating her food. It's okay. Please finish the food for everybody to eat. It's, it's, it's okay. You want a cook? I'm going to make one available as soon as possible. Why can't, she, why can't you, Urena, continue the cooking? You two, continue with the cooking. Eh? 
Yes! The next time you try to speak to me in that manner again, you wouldn't like the end. Can you speak to quiet? No, mother, let this be the last time. You better warn her. Why would I warn her? No, you warn her. You are the eldest, you should be the one cooking the food. You will be talking to me anyhow. If I say one thing, you will be so angry. She's okay. okay. And I, I don't know why. I will please. kill you immediately. Please, that boss, no. You are not talking. You talk back at me like if that. Is. Your Highness, his name is Benji from Amago Village. He is the new cook I found. What? Oh no! This! I was expecting a female and not this one. I changed my mind. Okay. I was the one that instructed that he should uh, get me a male cook since the female ones have failed me. Yes, it was on my instruction to get a young and a vibrant young man that cooks well. Oh, bro, yeah. Uh, oh, no. I mean, Are you sure this one here can cook? Perfectly well, my queen. Ilinugu? Yes, my queen. Biana? Nah, can you cook? Sorry? What I mean, you got As a matter of fact, this is exactly the picture of the kind of man I have in mind. Yes. Uzumbo? Uh, young man, what is your name? What is your name? Your name? The king is asking me. Okay. My name is Benjamin, the son of late chief Nleka from Amagu village. Congratulations. Hmm? Already? Well, Congratulations um, congr 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 <laughs> to yourself. Your Highness. For being a cook. <laughs> Oh, no. oh. Your Highness, yes. um, please, I'm sorry. I suppose to let you know that he can barely hear unless mm. you speak up a little. Huh? Eh? Oh, no. no, 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 Your Highness, not like that. But my assurance that he can cook to your satisfaction. He cooks well. Fat to your satisfaction, Your Highness. Well, uh, young man. You're welcome to my palace. So, excuse me, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Let my son. You know I love you so much. Hmm? As I told you earlier, your father and I were very, very good friends before he joined our ancestors. Now, I brought you in this palace so that you can be somebody. Yeah? The king is not just a brother, but a friend to me. Hmm? So I don't want you to disappoint me. Hmm? Oh no. My son. I appreciate this. This is a golden opportunity. I will not disappoint you. I, I, I will not disappoint you. I love that. Okay. I so uh, you have access to me. Yeah? So try to do your work in sincerity. Sorry. Yeah. Try to do your work in sincerity. Yeah. I want to have you make a good break. Uh, oh no. Your Highness. You really have to get me a new cook since this one barely hears. Your Highness, apart from his hard hearing, I can beat my chest that you will still enjoy his cooking. I know, I know, I know. But there's a problem here. Hmm? I can't imagine myself working with Onion TK. Automatically it means each time I want to pass a message to him, I have to shout. I don't need to shout. Mm. Huh? I understand you, my king. All right, meanwhile, he, he can stay here while you look for a new person. Okay? Okay, my friend. Is it right? Um, thanks, Odyssey. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it.
you sure you are here to cook? Excuse me. I said, are you sure you are here to cook? Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to your grandfather. Are you here to cook? Wait. I know you are here on a mission. And I will tell you what to be careful about you. How old are you? It's like you're mad. So you don't know your mate. I you know your mate or I senior you. You don't know your elders. Don't try it next time. See, see, see. That I don't beat kids. Abraham can your type. Are you listening to me? Who are you? Learn how to mind your business, else I'll, I'll, I'll kick you like football. You cannot kick me like football because I came in this flat before you. You didn't hear me, you cannot do it. Are you your son? Yeah? Where you go, Zebe? Impression I can never find it. Cook is here. What do you mean? The cook. He's in the kitchen. Go see for yourself. Cook? The cook. Fine. Let's go and see for ourselves. Really? Let's see you. Yes. Okay. Your Majesty. You should have told me when you changed your mind about bringing in a female cook. I'm very sorry, my love. It's just that I can't withstand to fall into the trap of another vicious and emotional lady again. I can't withstand it. Yes. My love, a male cook is a no-no for me. This one you brought already. He has to leave immediately. It's, it's okay. That won't be a problem. I've already discussed with uh, Uno to get us another cook. But for now, this one stays. Please, until we get another. If he has to stay, pending when Uno will bring another cook for us, we have to immediately run a background check on him. As to know who we are living with, you cannot bring in a complete stranger and impose him on us. What is that? Consider it done, Your Majesty. <laughs> okay, as for the errand boy. Yes. We we'll have to consider sending him back to school immediately. Keeping him here is to just run errand for us, report events to us, gossip to us. It does not make any sense. That would be tantamount to child abuse. He's just a little boy. Let's send him back to school. You know he does not have parents. Let us assume that responsibility in his life completely. Let us be his parents. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm very, very fine. Is that right? Uh, tell your son to visit me in my palace. Yes. I've not seen him for a while now. Extend my greetings to your family, your wife. Bye. Iwe. What is it? Iwe, Iwe. What is it? Iwe. I'm here to leak a secret for you. I mean, a top secret against this palace. What is the secret all about? If anybody that brought that Benji, the new cook, does not mean well for this royal family. If that, that boy is on a mission in this palace. 
Are you out of your mind? You are not out of my mind. I'm with my senses. You don't know what I'm saying. Remember that brother being here does not mean good for this royal family. Now get out of my sight. Hmm? Get out of my sight. Hey, you will consider. Oh. Are you still standing there? Sorry. Squeeze you. Hide what? See what? What do you mean? Bring them out. I don't see them. No need to hide them. Bring what out? What do you mean? I go catch you. No say they smell for this palace. Bring them out, Joe. Ha ha. Obele. <laughs> that we do it. Can bring them out. I make I tell you what it is. Obele, you, you know you're my ally. Eh? Yeah? Please don't tell anybody. I promise to be protecting this palace. Okay? See, okay, my guy, I don't need your protection. I can protect myself and I can even protect you. So I don't need your protection. The only problem I have in this palace is that new cook, Benji. I want you to keep your eyes on him. Benji, that new cook? He's here on a mission. <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to even strangle him if he tries anything. I don't say make you strangle anybody. I say make you keep your eyes on him. And leave the rest for me. You hear him? Don't worry. I'm going to keep my eyes on him. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Bring him out first. <laughs> Obele, forget this one. No, this is not for children like you. Bring that thing out. Show me what color. Why you can't they insult me now? You know how old I am. I can burn your father's self. Come and bring that thing out. Obele, forget this one. I go cast you. I go cast you. Obele. Give me. Give me. Do that. I'm serious. Say to you this move. I think they melt your heart.
My friend, come hey, here. Hey. I said, come here! You see that? He didn't hear me. You see that you didn't hear when I said you should come here? He's talking to you. I'm talking to you. It's okay. Who are you? Hold it, girls. Listen to me. I think it's my fault. Um, his name is Benjamin. He's our new cook. This guy? Although I'm making an arrangement for a replacement for now. He is our cook, okay? Is that why he didn't want to answer the question? My friend, answer the question! She asked, who are you? Oh. On that take Dolly, please. excuse me. Please, please, oh. you girls should forgive him. He has a problem of the ears. Huh? He what? can hardly hear. What? He has impaired hearing. Oh. Mommy, you, you guys brought in a deaf person here. He is not deaf. He has impaired hearing. Hearing that means he can hear, but when you want to talk to him, raise your voice a little. But, I mother, is, is that why he can't answer a simple question? Because he didn't hear you. Please, he said you should tell them your name. Tell them your name. Oh, yes. My name is Greetings, Your Majesties. My name is Benjamin, the only surviving son of Lady Jane Laker of Amago Kingdom. Congratulations. Uh -uh. Why are you going? Please just go. Go! <laughs> I don't know why you're not us. Please, you have to forgive him for now. Hmm? Like I said, I'm making plans for replacement. Just that he's a wonderful cook. Daddy, that guy is a joker. Can you keep quiet? You should have gone. You should have a deaf and dumb. Do you just cook? Test the food Honestly. first. But well, you shouldn't have gone for a deaf. I don't want to get deaf. He's, he's only deaf. He's not dumb. Yeah. I don't want to be dead. He looks because he can't. Go ahead and serve. Go ahead and serve. Serve for us. Just go. Just 
Just go. Let them, nobody is serving anybody again. Mom. Serve yourselves. Mom, serve yourself. Get to me. You're both up from there. Come and serve yourself. Oh. What is that? It's better you guys tell us you want to see. Okay. Serve us. What was that? Oh my goodness. Where did they bring that clown from? <laughs> to think he's good looking and one can literally mistake him for a perfect gentleman. Not knowing he's such a big bloody clown. There is nothing good about him. Stark illiterate. That is who he is. I don't know where mom and dad brought that guy from. Eh? Did you see the way he speaks? Um. God bless you or what? So, come on girls. Eh? You people should not kill this guy. He's still a human being. And I must confess, his food is fantastic. Yeah, you're right. His food is good. That I even forgot he's the one that prepared it. Please. Despite the fact that I slapped him. I think that guy is annoying. But he's good. his food is good. There is nothing fantastic about his food. Yes. We've had better food than that. Yes, that's the truth. Eh? Please, people should stop giving him all that credit. He doesn't deserve it. That is ugly monkey looking face. Nkosika, please stop. Cheers now. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Honestly, eh? That boy can. Honestly, I am telling you. I am amazed how a man, a young man like that, can cook that good. What am I Honestly, Unowu was right. He was right when he told me not to conclude that I should test the boy's food first. He was completely correct. Do you know he even cooks better than our former cook? That witch of a girl. Ah. That wicked no, girl. No, 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 no. That's too vulgar. Ah! You're too vulgar for her. What do you want me to call her? She's not a witch. Just that she was misled. Whatever. Huh? Anybody can do fine. Just like this boy now, he's very excellent. So she too can be good. Don't call her a witch next time, okay? So <laughs> you're trying to promote him. Hmm. Paint him as like the best. Are you suggesting we keep him? Are you suggesting otherwise? Don't pretend, just say the truth. Hey, my brother, have you had the old? Have you had the Have you had the bad in letters, ballas, cuckoo? His name is Benji. Benji. Benji the cuckoo die. He's calling the for kitchen and bottle. Mr. Jeff. Hey, my brother, have you had the old? Have you had the have you had a bad director's ballast cuckoo? His name is Benji. Benji, Benji the cuckoo die. He's calling there for kitchen and bottles. sleep if I do not test Benji's soup again that boy <clears throat> I can't wait till morning no way no way Unless you go fight, if you chop his foot if if I if Benji the palace a cuckoo Unless you go for me Hey, my brother, have you had the old? Have you had the old? Have you had the old? Let us palace cuckoo I don't know which of you is telling the truth See my queen, you know me too well for this palace Now you be messing with that I know the girl problem with anybody I, they, I, they, The one will happen now here they talk How do they like? This boy that entered my room last night. I thought I made you come up for me. To say now only me get this room. But I don't know if you agree with me. He said instead of him to come up for my room, he tied me poor for wardrobe. He could. Me. 
Your Majesty, if I touch this baby boy, it's child abuse. I did not touch him. I cannot touch him. What will I gain if I touch him? I swear. Makachubu, he is lying. This is child abuse now. Why will I touch him? It's okay. It's okay. Let me handle it. Oh, yeah, it's painful because when you did not do no, anything. No, no, don't cry. It doesn't come to that. Oh, no, this brother, they cry. Oh, this brother, they, 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 they lie. You go the lie, you go the cry on top. Will you shut up? Shut up! Oh no, no, I don't even know the business you have here. You want to go back to school? What are you doing here? Errand boy, oh no! I have told you countless times. Respect her and uh, uh, I know how to talk to your elders. Eh? Even talk to him politely. Like that thing you are explaining that happened. You could have uh, uh, you had a better way of handling it. I'm being this naughty. I don't do anything to her now. Please shut up. Let this be the first and last time this issue will be raised in this palace. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Please wait, wait, wait. Where do you think you're going? Your head is free. Come and apologize to him. No. I said now. Right now, apologize to him. I apologize to him. You don't want me to hit no. you. I don't, sorry. You're too beautiful for this dress. Let him go. I believe it's adolescent stage. Who is adolescent? When he grows up, he will. Eh? This one will grow. If you touch him, it's child abuse. Then we arrest him first. Thank you. You should have had a little respect for yourself. What kind of respect do you expect? What kind of respect do I need for what I want? No matter how you want to see it, that boy cooks nice and his food is fine. What do you think? Is that why you should shower that level of praises on him? Right before me. He's a commoner for crying out loud. I know. No doubt about that. He's a commoner. But that doesn't stop his food from being nice. If you care, he seems to be having issues with Obele. It's high time we returned that boy to school. I am dead serious about it this time around. That boy, that little boy does not have one atom of respect or regard in him. What do you expect of a boy raised in the street? Return him to school immediately. Excuse me. His name is Benji. Benji. Benji the cook die. He's calling the for kitchen and pot. took you so long because I've been waiting. I'm sorry, my princess. Sorry for yourself. Open the plate. Let me see the rubbish you prepared. Wait. How many eggs did you use in making these noodles? Two eggs. You must be out of your mind. No, you must be mad! Mad? Are you mad? You can't hear or what? Why would you use two eggs to make my noodles? No, I look like I came from some poverty-infested background or something. Listen to me. I eat four eggs. What did I say? Four eggs. Rubbish. I'm sorry. Come back here. Let me even test the nonsense you cook. You 
want to kill me? Why did you use so much salt on this noodles? No, why did you use all the salt in the world on this noodles? No, I, I did not use any salt on it. I just added the seasoning I saw inside the You dough. must be mad for that answer. No, you must be out of your mind. Aren't you supposed to be a professional cook? I'm sorry. Are you not supposed to be a professional cook? Man, leave my sides. Just go. You're supposed to be a, 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 a professional cook. What happened? I'm sorry, man. No, no, just, just go, just go. Just go, just go. So, I should stop clapping for you, Akwea. Is that what you mean? Let me have it. Come back here. Why is this juice not cold? Is there no ice in this house? I don't understand that. What don't you understand? Is there not a refrigerator in this palace? There is a fridge in the palace. Then you must be stupid. Excuse me? You must be very stupid to serve me a hot juice. How, how dare you? Go and get me proper juice immediately. Thank you, my princess. Please, I'm so, so sorry, my princess. Can you imagine? Who brought this point? Who brought this boy to this place? What kind of human being is this? Serving me a hot juice? Not your fault. Your your sister's on this. What's her name? Princess Ify. I asked you to wash my clothes, and you had the gods, the impetuous, to leave my clothes for another. How dare you? No, no, your princess. I've washed all the clothes you brought, except the ones you brought. It's the gods for me. Will you shut up your mouth? How dare you? You idiot! Are you stupid? Warning to you, next time I in Goseka ask you to do something, make sure to do it. Did you hear me? I know your death. Now, did you hear me? It's your tomorrow, stupid thing. Sorry. sorry for yourself. Sorry for your stupid self. Low life, low class. It's yours. Try me. I gave you two minutes, just two minutes. Okay, let me just make it five. If you don't finish washing all these clothes and I get back here, I will use this to skin your life. I'm sorry.
you shouldn't have given him your own days to wash. What happened to you doing that one in yourself? Mother, there is nothing wrong with him washing my clothes. His primary duty in this palace is to cook for the royal house. And that was why he was brought. Don't forget that. Wait, 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 Mom. Are you trying to say that his only duties in this house is just to cook? Then who will do the remaining house chores? No! He will have to do everything, including washing my clothes. Ah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Ngozika, we're not talking about washing clothes here. We're talking about you asking him to wash your undies. That one is supposed to be private. Something you wear inside of your body, you give a man to wash. Come on. Mother, I don't see anything wrong in him washing my undies. There is nothing special. Anybody can wash my undies. I will even give my husband my undies to wash. Even when I'm, I'm on my period, I will do that. Yes, so, ha. I won't give you your father my own to wash. Mine is dignified. Mm. Mother, old school. That's old in this style. Now, we're in the 90s. Everything has changed. Yes, so, so he will wash it. Just take it easy with this boy. You know his problem. With his impaired hearing and him not understanding what you're saying at every point in time. Leave him alone. He's trying to acclimatize to the way things are done in this palace. Are you coming to muzzle him around? That will complicate his life the more. Take it easy. Be patient with him. Please, I beg you. I beg you, Mom. Eh? But there is nothing wrong in him doing any of those things. But as you said, I've heard you. I will think about it. My name is Uwena. I am the last child of my parents. I must confess, you are a wonderful cook. You are a very good cook. You are not saying anything to me. Don't you think it's high time you said thank you? Hmm? Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I said you are a wonderful cook. Oh, thank you, my, your majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. No, Uwena. My name is Uwena. Congratulations. Congratulations? <laughs> I, I notice you have an unusual way of talking. Don't worry. Hmm? I will help you improve in that, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. Sorry, Uwena. Yes, Uwena. I was bored inside. I came to help you wash Excuse some. Me? I, I was bored inside. Yes, I came to help you wash dishes, then learn one or two from you. Excuse me, sir? I was bored inside. I came to help you wash some dishes, then learn one or two from you. You know you're a wonderful cook. Wife material. <laughs> one thousand words. All right, Your Majesty. Sorry, you're in now. I will be preparing banga soup this afternoon. Okay. Rice and banga stew. So while doing that, I will call you so that you can learn one or two. Wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, let me help you wash the dishes then while you do other things. Okay? Wife material. <laughs> it's okay. I know you 
like smoke so much. Hope you have not been smoking that palace. No, hey. If I smoke for that palace, you will cast no. <laughs> I'm even thinking on quitting smoke entirely. It will make sense if you quit too. It's a give and So you're not going to enter trouble for that palace. That palace is palace of trouble already. Forget to. It's not all that well in the palace. Though. That place is a mini hell. In fact, it's unconducive. Ah, is this a joke or what? I'm not joking. In fact, sometimes I think of quitting that job. And to quit, they're hungry me. There's something wrong with you, Benjamin. There is something wrong with you. How? Are you sure you're normal? How can you be thinking of quitting a fantastic job you have there? Do you know how many people that is willing, that is praying to shine the king's shoe? Not to talk of cooking for him. Hear me out before judging me. The king is not my problem. Lol, it's not my problem. The problem is you guys' daughters, the princesses. What's up with them? What happened? They are mad dogs. Mad dogs? Princesses. They are mean, they are heartless, they are stubborn, they are wicked. Once you don't have value, they don't regard you. Once you're not royalty, you're not rich, you're not famous, you're not bringing anything to the table, once you're a commoner, they hate you. They will keep treating you like trash, except for their baby sister, the last princess. In kind of mother. Hey, what you do, you, you, you try and become friends with them. Like, just find a way. You know, are you now. deaf? I said these people are wicked people. They treat me like trash. They are asking me to become friends with them. How? You said they are last born. Yes, that one is she's, she's close to you, right? Mm. She plays with you. Use her and get the rest. Are you saying I should enter that family? Benji, you're in the streets now. You go run those girls' streets. Every street you grow. I'll be walking the door at the for palace. Enter them through that girl. You know what's up now. Make I enter that family. Run them. My royal family. Zero them. Nothing come out. My royal family. Nothing come out. You go run them where? Dinga man the woman. Dinga yeah. Dinga ka buka royal unga. No, he got a banger. <laughs> I hope so. Bring a bit of some in my drink now. Small, small. Hey, you know, go high, enter that palace. <coughs> How my daughters were busy stepping on your toes. And I was told what you have passed through in their hands. My dear, I am very sorry about that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Your Highness, Good. you don't need to apologize. If Urena, my daughter, did not tell me about this, I wouldn't have. Honestly speaking, so I'm sorry. I really have to. Don't say I should not apologize. I have to. Because it is unfair. Sir? I have to apologize to you. You know why? It is unfair. I didn't train my daughters that way. And I don't expect them to behave that way. You see this palace? This palace. I preach love and tolerance to my children. Okay? They won't harass you again. Thank you, Your Highness. It's okay. Uh, you are welcome any day. Hmm? You're welcome any day. Just go. Go for now. Nobody will harass you again. Hmm? Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, 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 oh. So this is where you are. Eh? 
Now listen. I'm done cooking in the kitchen. So go in there and clear all the mess. Did you hear me? Excuse me, ma'am. I said go in there and clear all the mess. Death monkey. Okay. I don't want to repeat myself. All right, Your Majesty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the 11th time you are eating today. Is today your birthday? Come on, give me food. Yeah, I'm hungry, Biko. I, I'm tired of feeding you. Mr. Come on, give me food now. There is no food. Is it your birthday? Let me say two times. Why, why Go ahead, Biko. 11th. This is the 11th one. I have a book in that form. Mr. Come on, give me food. Ingrid, ma'am. No, come on, give me food, Benji. If you chop his foot, I foot If only if I met the young of some if only see Ben this year, let your fellow Benji the palace cook. Yo, you really need to take it easy on that cook. It's going to give you high blood pressure. Mm. He can try it. Who is he? <laughs> They know born and well. Mm. Eh? I hate that guy so much. I hate him. There is something about him that I hate so much. I hate him too. <gasps> I just can't place it. Girl, I have a special hatred for this guy. But what can I do? He's still our cook. We have no choice than to tolerate his annoying character. Ah, Gosh. that's what we've been doing. Picking all sorts of things. And do you know the one that pays me the most? The way father and mother praises him. So and annoying. his English and stupid way he speaks, you know, carrying himself like he's the best chef and all. I hate him so much. Do you know it surprises me? It surprises me how, how, how our parents tolerate this idiot. I mean, I can't. That guy irritates me. I hate him. He should just go. I can't wait. Oh. I can't wait to wake up one morning and they say, Oh, Ungazika, the cook is leaving. I'll be like, Oh my God. I don't even want to wake up and see him. I hate him. Please, please, please. He needs to go. Not even that he's giving us healthy meal. Huh? But what can we do? We just have to manage him. What did you just say? If you know, see, I know the top of tea, I know see with my cool, cool eyes. You go, I see this one, I see secret for that, for that bag. This is unbelievable and unacceptable by me. Nobody tries that in this palace. Nobody indulges in that kind of nonsense in this palace. Hey, boy, you go, calm down, calm down, sir. Let's say it would be unacceptable. Go and get me one of the guards. Immediately. Okay, okay my king. But, my king, if not to match that man down, me personally go match him down. I don't need God. Come on, shut up and go and get me a guard. I don't need God. That guy just walked I said. For my <laughs> guy then. Can you imagine? Huh? Secret in my palace? So, you smoke. How dare you? I don't smoke, sir. If there's anyone that smoke here, it's this Danu, sir. Eh? Okay, you didn't lie, you? No, I see I see cigar for you for your bag. You see cigar for my bag? Eh? Uh -huh. Your highness, let me tell you the truth. I saw this balloon smoking. I was like, why are you smoking at your age? You should be in school. He said no. That this smoke is what he uses in reducing his weight, as recommended by the doctor. I was like, okay, if that's what the doctor said he should be taking, no problem. He smokes. I swear. I'm not joking, sir. He smokes. Lions. Lions, Ebekis. Why are you lying in front of the king? I said the king. Hey, shut up. I shut the devil. Me. If I ask my guard to search your bag now, and he finds anything incriminating, any smoke inside that bag. 
better say the truth and nothing but the truth. I will have no other option but to remind you immediately at the correctional center. Your Highness, there is nothing to correct here. I don't smoke. I don't even like it. I'm allergic to it. I swear, I've caught him smoking. Let me now tell you this, sir. Even the elder brother of secret, he smokes it. What? I'm telling you, sir. Are you talking of Ibo? Yes, sir. In fact, I am so focused on such a bag. Such is bag. Yes. It is better you say the truth now. If you take me through this pains, I will deal with you. I'm allergic to cigarettes. Such that bad thoroughly. So why are you accusing somebody forcefully? Why are you saying what you, do, that what you do not know? I am very sure of what I am saying. Let me, let me bring that out to see that. Let me see. Do you know you are asking my question? Will you drop that back? Drop it! Search Obele's bag. Please don't remove her. Now you know where you keep her. Don't you know why I see her? Okay. Don't do it. She smokes in the other one. I was telling you, it's one of the major. I know this. She smokes in the other brother of cigarettes. I know I picked him from the street. But I don't want to believe you for now. Okay, Let the bag be I you so. What do you say you. that you smoke? Say that doctors are making you smoke. What is this? What is this? I have been vindicated. Yes, what is this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will you stop that rubbish? What kind of touch light is that? You even smoke in packets. Abele, what is this? Make you me get that cigar. I am disappointed in you. A little rat like you at this stage. You want to use cigarette to reduce your weight. Which doctor prescribed this to you? My kid, no be me again. Come on! Will you shut up if I do with you? Shut up! I said shut up! How disappointing. I thought you were different from the rest of the children that wandered the streets. How could I have known that the, 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 the street damaged you this bad? You're rotten! My queen, I, I swear, no me get that cigar, no me get that cigar. I'm not that brother, do I? No me get that cigar. Will you shut up? Shut it! That's your brother you just mentioned here now. Was he here when you passed that message no. to me? Was he? No, my king. But if he here, I'm so well. No, no, that brother. No, no, that I will. So how do you want me to believe that he just transferred a secret into your bag? Eh? You are a total disappointment to what I believe. Mm. And if you don't take your time, I will take you back to the street. Mm, I'm sorry, my king. You should be sorry for yourself. I'm sorry, my king. Without your bloated cheeks. The only reason I have not handed you over to the police is because of the way I met you. I picked you from the street. And I promised myself that I'm going to take care of you. That boy in this palace. That boy is too rude for my liking. My dear. I understand that you know where that boy is coming from. From the streets. So what do you expect? What do you expect from a boy that has no parents? What? Yes, he lost total parenthood. What do you expect? I would rather advise. Tolerate that boy with everything you are. I'm thinking of sending him to a very good school. Soon, but for now, I'm tolerating. So what do we do now with him? See, so he does not have parents. Uh, you can call him an errand boy for now. 
but I'm thinking of a better school to put in. Better? Exactly what I'm thinking. Not any errand boy, anything. He's a little boy, but that boy is wild. We can't continue to live with him in this palace. Have you ever seen him talk? The way he runs his mouth? Thousand words per minute? <laughs> Come on! On the contrary, that is exactly why I like that boy. What? His boldness. My dear, that boy can be helped. But all the same, I'm thinking, I must put that boy in one of the best schools. Better. Yes, better. So that he will have some transformation or reformatory. That boy is something else. <laughs> what do you eat? I'm thinking of it. Whatever. Your wish is my comment. Again, that he's not my mate. Where is that coming from? Like, who the hell is this idiot? Where did you get him from? Dad, this church rat here, the other day was asking me out. Hey. Can you imagine the disrespect? You don't know your age, mate. Hey. Father, do you know that I gave my clothes to this boy? He messed it up and returned it like that, without no remorse for. Father, I sent him to buy something for me. He ate the money without giving me nothing. This boy, Don't you! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Are you mad? No. Are you stupid? Come. Come. See, huh? 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 See, don't allow me to vet my anger on you now. Can you not like that? Can somebody keep quiet here? Obele. Sir? Are you guilty of all these accusations? I do not do anything! No. They just want to kill me for no reason. Did I ask you out? Did I ask you out? Can I ask you out? Can you shut up? I will kill you in this house. Shut up. It's okay. It's okay. I will handle him. We will not have him lie against us here. I will kill him right now. He should, he should not even try to lie on us. I would like all of you to listen to me. Learn how to tolerate this ball. Huh? You all know where I picked him from. From the streets. Moreover, it is not easy for one to lose both parents at the same time. It's not easy. He's an orphan. He is not the first or the last orphan in the world. So you better respect himself. Will you shut your mouth or I vet my anger on you now? Shut up. <coughs> like, give me that cake. Give me that cake. That's not true. He's been so disrespectful in the palace. We want to dispose him. Yes, Your Highness. This boy has been sorting us and causing trouble in this palace all the time. Will you shut up? Shut up. Shut up again. Shut your trap. He's been so disrespectful, Your Highness. Sorting everybody in the palace. What madness was that? Eh? He has been causing problems. And you didn't deem it wise to report to me. You want to take laws into your hands. Sorry, Your Highness. Sorry for yourself. Now listen to me, both of you. Whenever this boy commits anything, Report to me directly. I was the one that brought him here. You don't take laws into your hands. If I do what I will regret. 
We're sorry. We're sorry, Your Highness. I don't want this rubbish any longer. We're sorry. sorry, my king. And you, how many times have I warned you? Not to disrespect your seniors. But no! This madness must continue. Listen and listen, Rico. Come. If I dare receive any report about you again, I will punish you severely. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Now get out. You know where I picked him? From the street. Let it be my worry. Don't take laws into your hands. You don't have to punish him by yourself without my approval. Take this in and get out of my sight. And he ended it with a slap. I know how many times you've given me reason to throw you out of this palace. But I tolerated your excesses. Because you're an orphan. No, I'm sorry, my king. I'm sorry, my, my king. Will you shut up? But my king, that, that's you're not me get another brother. I don't know how this, this guy did fly into my back. Will you shut up? You are going back to the school immediately. And that is my final decision. Did you get that? My king, I mean... Shh, shh, come, look, come. look at this boy. So he didn't have the guts to object to this. You know what? I would have preferred you thrown back into the streets where you rightly belong. But for the sake of God and my husband, I will agree to the decision to give you a second chance. But if you mess this one chance up again, your life will end right before your eyes. Get out! Just, just leave! Get out of my presence are you still there! Get out! Look at you, Malu. Chimpanzee. Robot. And you are still talking. doing with this boy? Just like that? Hmm. Wow, crazy things are really happening. Honestly, crazy things are really happening. You can't be serious, are you? Will you stop there? What the hell are you doing here? How dare you? Get out! Shall you? this. I just want to tell you, I don't you don't the come out. <laughs> come out, go away. I don't the come out from this palace to go school. Uh, it's actually your audacity for me. <coughs> Hold on a minute. Okay, because you are going to only God knows where, that was why you had the nerves to walk into our room. To barge into my room, what better? That knocking. Like, what's giving you that? What's giving you that mind? Okay, because you're going to school, we should start crying. Okay, girls, let's start crying. Okay, he's going back to school. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to go back to school. Get out! Get out! Not nonsense. Hey, hey, hey! Tiops, come back here. Let me ask you a simple question, and I need a direct answer. How old are you? Are you serious? Eh? What did you say? So you're talking to my sister like this? You did not catch it. You did not catch it. You did not catch it. Hi. Hey. This guy has blown me. Hey. Can you imagine? I blame father. I blame him. They say my food is not enough. They want my jolla jolla. They said they hate me before. Now they come. They love me. Die. Jai. Ordinary cook. I'm done to love a boy. To kick you, Jai, and I saw some soul, but now I don't bless you. I go massacre them, but when you need it, then tap and tap and I go massacre them. I go get joy again. I go massacre them. Everybody must come let's go. I go massacre them. Jai, Benji, Benji, in a balloli. Ordinary cook, I'm done to love a boy. I'm a 
Gosh, this guy is handsome. Just look at his abs. Kai, see what I've been missing. Hmm. This guy is for me, no two ways about it. I can't believe I've not really taken my time to have a proper look at him. Ah, he's okay. I mean, he's so cute. Look at his abs. Imagine him jacking me up. Celebrity cookie, no man's in a one liar, one liar. I hear they say my food is not enough. For they want my yacht, jolla, jolla. They said they hated me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Jay, ordinary cookie, don't don't to love a boy. I was in my heart to kick you. Jay, and now so see my soul. But now I don't bless you. I go massacre them. I go massacre them. I go massacre them. I go get joy again. I go massacre them. Everybody must go less care. I go massacre them. Greetings, Your Majesty. That is not why I'm here. My friend, what are you making for dinner? I want to prepare. I will make bitter leaf soup. I will also make noodles. Hey! You will make bitter leaves and then you will make noodles. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you know how many calories that contains? A packet of noodles, do you know how many calories it contains? No, Your Majesty. How would you know? Who brought you here to destroy us? I ask you! Why am I even talking to you? Take a look at my father. His tummy is increasing day by day. All because all you give us in this house is cabs! From one cab to another! Eh? Benjamin! Your Majesty. I know that this bitter leave you want to serve us. You want to serve you with Fufu? Operia? Yes, Your Majesty. You see? You see? You know nothing. You can't even make use of your brain. The small sense God gave you, you can use it. I'm sorry. I'm... You're sorry for yourself. I don't even know why I'm here talking to a non It's yours. I God's time is the best. Well, I don't know for my sisters, but I can't keep pretending anymore about this guy. God, he's so cute. I really do not care how awkward this may look, but I'm definitely going for him. Seeing him walk out reminded me how a handsome young man he is, and I've been so lazy with my approach. If you are not anymore, not anymore. I'm going all the way out for him. They say my food is not enough. They want my jolla jolla. They said they hated me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Jay, ordinary cook. I'm done to love a boy. I was in my heart to kick you. Jay, I'm not so simple. But now I don't bless you. Oh. Honey, I, I want I want to sleep now. Let me sleep. What is it? Eh? Can you please listen to me? I'm you won't understand. Whatever it is must wait till tomorrow. I am fat. I'm fat out here. Hmm?
Hello. What are you doing here? I've come to see you. By this time of the night, please leave. I know you might want to sleep. Uh, I, I won't disturb you, you know. You can be sleeping, maybe. I just want to keep you company or maybe probably, you know, watch you sleep. As my guardian angel or what? Please, leave. I need privacy. This is my room. Leave. But listen, I know you are angry with me because of how hostile I've been towards you since you got into this palace. I'm very sorry, okay? It won't no problem. Me. Please, just leave. If, if Lola comes here now, you, I'll be in trouble. Please leave. Are you scared? I won't put you into any trouble, okay? No problem. Go. No. Go, Nimi. Yeah? and I couldn't find you. <laughs> yes. Um, I stepped out to drink water. I was very, very tasty. <laughs> Are you okay? Hmm? Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Why? Why do you ask? Is there anything I need to know? Hmm? Oh, you can't see again. <laughs> okay, what did you say? I said, is there anything I need to know? Eh, hey, like what? Hello, man. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, my princess. Are you hungry again? Oh, come on, Ben. I came because of what happened last night. You said? I said I came because of what happened last night. Did anything happen last night? Oh, oh, Ben. I don't want you to go telling on me about what happened. What are you talking about? Are you saying you don't know what I'm talking about? I mean, the food you saw me eating. It was not as if I stole it though. There's no way I could steal food in my own father's house. It's not possible. You know, but please, Ben. I don't want anybody to know. Not my sisters. Okay. I've oh. heard you. D does it mean? Is, is there anything I can help you do? Please just tell me and I will do them. No, no, I'm fine. <sighs> Alright. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, what's up here and this is your palace job? Ha! Miracle happened though. You won't believe this. All the princesses are now falling for me. Falling for you, how? Miracle. That it'd be, it'd be a fantastic joker. Which one be say all the princesses they fall for you? As in, I resemble comedian. Obama and I be a beauty. See, brother, as we speak, all the princesses are in love with me. In fact, all of them wants to date me. 
They keep coming into my room every now and then, at odd hours. Benji, this one will be Joko. Then take advantage. Take advantage of what? Is it a good opportunity for you? Since they are coming into your room, you take advantage. Take advantage, Al. Sleep with them now. Jesus. Sleep with what? The princesses. Listen, now which one is Jesus? Jesus there. Sleep with them, you they do like, you know, get street OT. Knock them. Where can I begin to knock all of them? Um, we... It's achievable, though. But it's, I'm, I'm calculating the risk. Risk? What? Guy, there's no risk there. You could just play smart now. No, no, this is wickedness. Living with Igwe's daughters, all of them. <laughs> See who is talking about wickedness. Which wickedness is greater than the one they are giving to you in that palace? Eh? This is a golden opportunity for you. Punish them. Do them well. Guy, you can't do it now. Why can't they, can't they do like say. You could like, you win, win, win. Hajaye, Ibai, no time. Yang could you win, win, Could you win, Gamma man, the comma. You were on Gano there. Hajaye, Gamma man, the comma. Ibai. If you chop his foot, do I foot to my If I met if I met the Mayan of Summa, if I see Ben Lisa Lacha Fella, if I Benji di palace kuku onesi kwafu na hey my brother have you had the oh have you had have you had about the latest palace kuku his name is Benji 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 de kuku daya he's calling the for kitchen and pot hey my brother have you had the oh have you have you heard about the latest palace cook? Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Get out. Okay, my princess. Get out! Gosh. Sis, I hate this guy with passion. I still don't know why our parents are still keeping him here. They should discharge him. Let him go and bring in another person. What's all this now? Can you imagine? Look at the way he's dressed. Look at his trousers. He's so timid. I don't like him. Well, that's you. Can I be honest with you? Okay. <laughs> that guy? I actually do like him. What? That thing. <laughs> Adani, that disgusting thing. Please, please, please clean your mouth. Don't say that again, I beg. I hate him. I I feel like killing him anytime I see him. Well, that is you. You have a problem with him. I do not have a problem with him, okay? Despite the difference, I still see a very handsome man in him. I hate him! Ah! <laughs> well, it's not for you or others to like him. <laughs> the truth is that I do like him. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. Oh. So I think you're the one that has problem with the young guy because I see nothing wrong with him. So you need to work on yourself. Please, 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 I don't like him, and that's the truth. And there's nothing anyone can say about it. He that's, should go. That's your problem, girl. The sight of him alone irritates me. You won't really have a problem with him. My name is Benji. No, your name is Benjamin. Excuse me? Your name is Benjamin, not Benji. No, 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 no. Benji is the name my late parents gave me before they died. I've been answering Benji since I was born. I grew up answering Benji. So that's my name. Well, I am letting you know now that your name is Benjamin. Excuse me? Your name is Benjamin. Yes. Benji is, a, is an acronym for Benjamin. So you have to be answering Benjamin. Why are you people bent on changing my name? Must you people change my name? Your sister was insisting on calling me 
Ben, I was not Ben, Ben, I was like, must these people change my name? My sister. Which of my sisters? What's her name? Ola, Ola, or something. I think Ola. Ola. Yeah. Ola. Wait. Ola came here. As in, she came to this room. As in, in this room. She came to have a word with you. No, she came to fight with me. Your face like this. What is it? Huh? Rena, I need to be left alone. No, sis. You can't say this. You know I care about you so much. I can't just see you in this mood and walk away. What is it? I said I need to be left alone. Sister, no. Are you mad? Come on! Come on, English! You can't understand! I need to be left alone! Now, disappear from this place! Leave my sight now! Sorry. Disappear from me at once! Get out! Former, I don't understand what you mean by you want him gone. Dad, I want that young man to be gone from this palace ASAP as soon as possible. And what has he done? Dad, the right question should have been what has he not done? I mean that thing, that stupid boy had the nerves to seduce me. What? He did? Dad, excuse me, have I ever come to you with such before? No, you, you should know when I'm being real. That idiot, that bastard crossed his boundaries and needs to be punished. He needs to be punished. <laughs> this is interesting. Very, very interesting. My <laughs> princess. Hi, babe. I'm fine, greetings. Guess what? What? <laughs> I went shopping today. I stopped at the boutique and also the mall. So I got you these um, wonderful items. <laughs> My princess. Yes? Are you serious? Ah, of course. Yeah. I know you will love them. The accessories, the shoes, the bags. <laughs> Thank you very much, my princess. You I like it? This. I love them. Ah, come on. You don't have to thank me. You are my man. My responsibility. That is who you are. So anything I'm doing for you, just take it. That your baby is doing everything for you. <laughs> See, I feel, I, feel like, I feel like hugging and kissing you. No, no, no. no. Uh, I've been cutting onions and pepper. I don't want to touch my baby with onions and pepper and... Ouch! <laughs> I know, my baby knows what I like. Yes. <laughs> I have a pot of fire. Once I'm done cooking, eh? okay. I will freshen up. Then keep a single and cup. I trust you. Thank you, my baby. No, Just no. take care of yourself and enjoy, okay? Yes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> What if Esther, my friend, is right? There is no way my husband will agree to take another wife, even in afterlife. I have to digest this fact and move on. 
since he cannot do it, I may find favor in the lions of another man. It wouldn't be, wouldn't it be demeaning asking my palace quick to sleep with me? Huh? Who knows how he will feel about it? It is handsome and very manly enough to likely produce a male child as his first seed. I just have to try my luck with him and God willing, he will accept my proposal. I just can't wait to give my beloved husband an heir to his throne. He certainly cannot be the last king of his lineage. No. Agidi. God. Yes, my king. Agidi, tell Benji I want to behold his presence now. Okay, my king. And be fast about it. He's here, my king. You sent for me, your highness. Benji, I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. Just the whole truth. Tell me the truth. What do you feel for my daughter? Sir? Do you love my daughter? Tell me just the truth. Your highness. Which of your daughters are you talking about? If him, my first daughter. What do you feel for her? Just say it. Just Your Highness, I, I... I... Remember what I said. If you tell me the truth about it, I promise you here and now, as I speak, I will hand her over to you as a wife. Life. very, very close to the cook. Yes. Yes, I know. I know you're even more close to him than I am. Um, are you interested in him? How no? No. We are just friends. And besides, he's helping me perfect my cooking skills. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Yes. You mean you're not interested in him? No. Yes, that's good. That means you will help me talk to him. Talk to him? Yes. About what? <sighs> Uri, the truth is, I'm interested in the cook. Yes, I know it may, it may sound surprised to you, but that's the truth. I'm interested in him. I love him. And, and I want him to be my man. Ngozika. <laughs> Wait. You are interested in him. Yes. And you want him to be your man. Yes, of course. Our cook. Ngozi, is this a joke? How is this a joke? Do I look like I'm joking or do I sound funny? Because I don't understand it. <laughs> Come on, Ure. Eh? Can't you see that guy? He's everything any woman would want. Take a look at his face. The way he danced, you know? Everything about him is just perfect. I want him to be my man. Ngozika. Ngozika. Are you the one saying this? Of course, I'm the one saying this. Because the last time I checked, you are the one that loaded everything about this guy. You never seems to insult and embarrass him in any given opportunity. Ngozika, why this sudden interest? Why? Please forget about all those things. Eh? Stop speaking all this grammar up and down. Eh, what has happened has happened. It's in the past already. The present is I want him. And Ure, you have to help me. 
You have to help his sister. Please. Anytime I try to come close to him, he resists me. He always rejects me. He doesn't want me to come close to him. But I, I really want him. That's the truth. I yearn for him. Rosika, I don't know what to say. I am disappointed. Honestly. I don't know what to say. But don't worry. I will think about it. You will think about it or you will help me talk to him? I didn't say I will help you. I said I will think about it. Uh -huh. I will think about it. Alright. What about my husband? I don't know. Then he left the, the palace with some of the elders. Oh, that's nice. Come. I would want you to keep what we're about to do now between us. Nobody should hear about it. I mean, nobody. Come. Come. Come and sit here. Oh? No, no, please. I, 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 please, leave. Leave me first, Lola. Leave me, leave me. No, it's fresh. Oh. It's Lola. not dry. Lola, please. You are bigger than this, Lola. You can just leave my, my room, please. Are you not a man? I'm giving you a gift. Something on a platter. You don't need to pay. You don't need to worry yourself. Just do. Just help me. Lola, I'm not a man at this point. Please, leave my room. Oh. Okay, sh should I come and sit on your lap? No, no, this is child abuse. Leave my room. You're not a child. You're a full-grown man. No, ma, please. Okay, let me come and join you. No, 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 please. Leave my room, please. Ma. Look at my face. Don't you like me? Look at me. Why are you hiding your face from me? No, no, please. Please. You are bigger than this. Leave my room. Benji, help me. You're a very fine man. No, Just help me. I can't do this, Lolo. Please, don't put me into trouble. There's no trouble everywhere. Nobody's in the palace. Just told me my husband is not in the palace. Lola, Biko. Come Hi, now. Lola, Biko. Marry with me, where? Lola, Biko. Just leave my room. Look at me now. Don't be bending your eyes. Look at me. Oh, Lola. you dad how could you i overheard you guys conversation you just threw me under the box like that no you sold me so cheaply why would you go asking him if he's interested in me but a young man is interested in marrying you are you not old enough are you not mature are you not ripe enough to get married my daughter dad i want to get married of course Oh, certainly not to a riffraff. You call him a riffraff. I am your dad. I can stand him as a man. I give him enough money. Yes. Dad, you are going off point because this isn't the plan. You were supposed to send him away. That was what, what I was expecting from you. Why would you expect me to send the young man away where he did nothing to me? Where he did nothing physically to you? As a matter of fact, the young man is not ready to get married yet, so let him be. Oh, oh my God. F Father, to be honest with you, you are so unbelievable. I can't. I can't deal with you. Both. <laughs> oh, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> what is even going on in this palace? Huh? Everybody are now poor law for them. It seems I will live here for them. I don't like nonsense. Why can't they drop one and allow me to think and execute my mission here? When you put an eye here, let's see if they never see fine man. She said he was seductively looking at her or something. I don't understand. Who? Ify, our daughter. She said our cook was seductively looking at her, trying to seduce her. But when I asked the young man, he denied ever looking at her. What? How dare he? How dare he do that? Who will embarrass her like that? 
so okay. Uh -uh. Take it easy before you hold it on an innocent young man. It's gonna not be easy. Huh? Let me even ask you, my queen. Is our daughter not overripe to get married? My daughter is ripe to get married. But certainly not for a low life. She will not settle for a low life. Low life or no low life. I am in support of my daughter getting married. Let me tell you. I will even sponsor the marriage. As far as she fixes her body with any figure by name. Man. I am in support. It is better than remaining in this house. Trying to find out who stayed at her or who did not stay at her. What do you think? A man may not put my hand to work in. I don't know whether you want to dash her to a man. But certainly she will get married at God's appointed time. And if it is God's appointed time that she must get married to that young man, so let it be. Are you aware that that young man is responsible already? He's a wonderful cook. Yes, he's a wonderful cook. His delicacy is something to write home about. So at least he has something to do it for now. That was very good for me. Will you ever be pleased? Sis, can you imagine what that did? Imagine him going asking that riffraff if he wants to marry me. What? You mean that asked? The cook to marry you. You can imagine the nonsense. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I mean, and what did he tell dad? Says, listen, I didn't even bother asking him what he said because I could care less about whatever the idiot has to say. My anger is that of all the able bodied men in this town, dad decided to stop so low as to ask him a commoner, I mean, an ordinary cook, if he wants to marry me. I mean, has it gotten to the point of father finding a husband for you? I mean, why? Listen, sis, I'm not even angry with that going to search for a husband for me. Of course, I want to settle down, but not with that commoner. Imagine cheapening himself as to go asking him if he wants to marry me. That's condescending, you know? Why would that treat me that way? He made, it, he made, it, he made me look so cheap. Like what legs before a commoner? I know, just calm down. No, listen, you do not understand, you know? Because I don't even know the right way to feel right now. I'm not actually angry with that going to search for a man to marry me. But I mean, of all the able bodied men in this town, all he could settle for, for me, was the cook. Listen, I hate myself right now. I, I hate everybody. I'm not happy. I'm... I know, you just have to calm down. It's not your fault. No, I... Please. Oh, I, he means to tell me that I cannot attract any other, you know, any good guy. I don't know. I don't know why dad is doing this. I mean... <sighs> calm down, okay? Just calm down. Listen, I'm just angry with everybody. I just need to be left alone. Father, you don't think I'm old enough to get married, do you? Of course. You're more than matured to get married. My second daughter. You are. Just like your elder sister. But I don't understand. Why do you ask? Father, if you think I'm old enough to get married, you shouldn't have neglected me. I mean, you asked the cook if he will marry Ify. Why not me? I don't understand. But I was there not to understand. I mean, I'm interested in that young man too. I want him. Oh, great. Wonderful. Then make a move. 
make a move to him. I, I, I don't get you. I don't get you, Father. You don't understand, too? I don't. <sighs> you want him, you like him, whatever. Just make a move to him, body language. Tell him how much you feel about him. Maybe the young man will love you too. Maybe he will love me too. Father, why are you being so unfair and partial towards me? I want to know. I mean, you spoke to that young man about Ify, and you refused to speak to him about me. Am I not your daughter? Will you shut it? Come on! Shut the trap! I am not just your father. I am your king. So, shut it. I'm sorry, Dad. It's just that I want him to. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, my daughter, you see, your sister happens to be the first daughter of this family. And she has to get married first. I can't wait for her to get married and leave my palace. Tongues are wagging outside here. People are talking. Moreover, she's your elder sister. The onus falls on her to marry first, and that is my judgment. But again, if you think you can push your luck to the cook, go ahead and do that. Maybe his man will love you. Maybe. And of all the days, you chose the day the prince of Imama kingdom, the day that he decided to pick a bride in my palace. You chose that day to insult me. You should have told me, all of you, you should have told me that you're not interested in getting married to the prince. Better for me. Do you know my pain? They were all told the reason we wanted any of them to marry the prince. And these fools agreed. Only to ruin everything with your absence. What effrontery? What God? Ah! Um, um, Father. Will you shut that thing you call my? Shut it, please. For crying out loud, you should be my eldest daughter. And you should know better. Why did you decide to insult me? Do you relate on my intelligence? What is it? Uh, Father, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. It, it wasn't an in Really now? It wasn't intentional. I can tell that to the dogs. I am so embittered. Now, before I open my eyes, I want all of you to leave my presence. Sorry, Dad. Now! I'm sorry! Don't tell me, don't pick that someone to chance. Abele, up till now you've not told me why you came down from school. I will tell you, but not now. I'm still sorting out some things. What are you sorting out? I'm sorry to say this, but you must not know everything. I want to ask you a question. Do you know the reason your daughters did not show up when um, Prince Ifan came? What are you talking about? I am saying, do you know why your daughters did not show up when Prince Ifan came here? What is the reason? Well, I'll tell you, but not now. Yeah. Yes, I'll tell you. Let me wait until what is hidden is made known. Then I'll tell you. Thank you. Come, come back here. Come here. Are you mad? You mean you came all the way from school to come and give me this rubbish? Huh? Listen to me. Look at me. Now, I do not want to behold your face in this palace from tomorrow. Go back to school and now. No, you go, it's not like that. I'll... I said, go back to school. See, Papa, go to school. Come on. Sorry, sir. 
What boldness? Ah, the key. So you mean all the dancing class was in vain? Why didn't they show them? Honestly, I don't know. The reasons they were given that made them not to show up was it even enough for their absence. I am still shocked. But you came out to meet the prince? Ah, no, I came out to cheer my sisters. Are you saying you are not interested in the prince? Ah. Mr. Benjamin, I told you this before. I am doing the dancing class with them just to please my parents. I am not really interested in the press. Are you for real? Honestly. Good thing you are not interested in the press because you must not marry the press. Yes. You can settle for a common and you can. What matters is where you find true love. You're not marrying royalty because your happiness is the paramount uh, point here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bingham, you don't get it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ready to settle down with anybody, not even a common one. Uh -huh. But now I don't face you. But when you tell me to be and to be, I don't want to get joy again. Everybody must go let's go. Joy, Benji, Benji, in a balloli. Who could not know you? On your way to the Eagles, can't I be a man of Benjamin? Celebrity cookie, no mazin, no one lay a one lay a What is this that I'm hearing? What is it? I heard that Igwe's daughters are pregnant. I know that you said Igwe yes, cause very soon. I know tell you. Yes, you did. Now why you call me out here? They say I'm a prophet, and my prophecy don't come to pass. But who are they pregnant for? They are pregnant for you. Use your brain. Try to be using your brain. This is where I've been seeing this thing often. 
Yeah? I think it's making sense. Pregnant as well. Please tell me you are not pregnant. Tell me, mother. Yeah? What are you talking about? Just answer my question. Are you pregnant? Oh, mother, I am not pregnant. But how will you know now whether you are pregnant? Did, did you vomit? Did you vomit? Let me see. Ah, mother, I didn't vomit. Mother, you are beginning to scare me. What is going on? Meaning you are not pregnant. I am not pregnant. Hey. God, thank you. Mana Benji, Maramalo. Benji, I'm going to go to the house. 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 To do this to us. Get out of Wanya, but I know no. That is what you are. He's a bastard. How can you be this wicked? Bloody bastard. And this monkey knows fully well that they are blood sisters. Blood sisters for that matter. And you went ahead to pregnant all of them. You brought this level of unwarranted disgrace to this family. I trusted you with every fiber in my flesh. Hey. But listen and this is really good. I swear. I swear by my throat. I will deal with you decisively. For bringing this kind of concentrated insult to my household, I swear I will deal with you in such a way you will never forget it in a hurry. Your Highness. It's not my fault. Your daughters kept visiting my room at odd hours. They seduced me. Yes. They forced my hands. I'm all my woman. Hey! I, I did not approach any of them. They fully shut that in the Shut the trap! Shut it! They forced your hands. They forced the silk this one on that too. And I'll make sure you suffer this. Guys, take this monkey inside the cage. Put him in the dungeon! Put him, hold it! Put him inside the cage! Give him no food, no water, until I'm satisfied with him. You should tie that under one very well. 
This is a total amount of all insults. Who would have believed that a day like this will beseech the great king of Umunoche kingdom? I lived an exemplary life. I never prospect that my own daughters will bring such a monumental disgrace to me and my legacy. Oh. I and your mother here did all humanly possible in raising you up and providing all that life can afford. But what was my reward? What did you give back to us in return? You went to settle down with a low life, an incompope, a twat. A bloody charlatan that dines and wines with pigs. A he goat that got all of you pregnant. You are a total disgrace to royalty. Disgust me. My sisters and I are very sorry. We, we didn't mean to bring this shame and disgrace to this palace. He deceived me with his fake love. I, I actually believed his words for me. I never knew he was playing me and my sisters. Please. I was very foolish and stupid to have allowed him to have, have his way with me. I am sorry, please forgive us. Please. Please. I used to think, as a princess, I can get any man I want to. Anyhow I want, whenever I want. But no, reverse is the case here. It's the other way around. It's been from one heartbreak to another, including Benjamin. Benjamin deceived me. Benjamin made me believe that I could still believe in a good man and end up with a good man. How do I know that it was all lies? Shred! Yes. And what did I get in return? Oh, what did pregnant? What did pregnancy? Daddy, <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> I can't even believe I was ready to poison you. I was ready to poison anyone that was ready to come in between me and Benjamin. Yes. At first, I, I, I hated him so much. Same with my sisters, I mean, they made me believe. If anyone would tell me that Benjamin would be this bad towards me, I would never believe it till I die. I will never believe it till I die. I'm heartbroken. I'm shattered. Benjamin was too innocent. He was too innocent to have fooled us all. Except to Renata, that just got lucky. I am not lucky. You're lucky, my sister. I am not. He tried making advances at me severally. Huh? Father. Yes, but I refused because I wasn't ready to settle down with any man. Father. I made him my friend. I was only learning how to cook from him. Nothing much. 
I thought I know him. I am really disappointed. They say my food is not enough. They want my ojola jola. They said they hate me before. Now they come, they love me die. Jay, ordinary cook. Don't come to love a boy. I was in my heart to kick you. Jay, and I saw see my soul. But now I don't bless you. I massacre them. Oh, Nancy, they let them I don't massacre them. I go get joy again. I don't massacre them. Everybody must go last year. I go massacre them. Joy, Benji, Benji. In a ball, Who could not know your What is it? May I? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I came to finish the discussion we started yesterday. And before I go on, call me Prophet Obele. If you are not here for something very serious, go back to school. Sorry, sir. Sorry, bro. Uh, why I said you should call me Prophet is because everything I said has come to pass. Benji is the reason your daughter did not show up when Presify came here. You mean you've been aware of their secret affairs? No. The fault is not coming from my hand. Because I told you, boy, do not listen to me. Get out of my sight. Hmm? Get out of my sight and now. Get out! Mm, sorry, sir. If I squeeze you. Sorry. Get out. Come see my boy, sir. Where did I get this, this, this boy from? Igwe, don't mistake. You got the little prophet from me. I said, get out. Come on, say my boy, sir. Your Highness, you don't look happy today. Is everything all right? You don't look like it, but I will accept your answer. Um, Your Highness, what is happening? The other day that the Prince of Imamalan was here to make a choice of a bride, none of your daughters showed up except the last one. Oh, no. They made a last minute decision. They said they are not interested in the prince. Wow. What should make a princess not to prefer a prince as a husband? You know, children of these days. Is a generational thing. What do you want me to say? Yeah. Well, um, Your Highness, the prince of Imam Adnan said that he was very okay with the one that showed up. And if it is your wish, he will be here with his people to do the needful and to take her as a wife. Are you for <laughs> Does it mean I will finally have an heir to the throne again? Exactly, my king. Oh, <laughs> oh no, my king. You don't have to do this. A king is not found in tears. Please. Oh no, not after the shameful thing that happened in my family recently. Eh? The disgrace was so much. What happened? Okay. Can I trust you? What I'm about to tell you is the topmost secret in my life. Can you keep it? You can trust me, my beloved king. What are you trying to say? I should be asking you what you are trying to say. Eh? I'm trying to tell you that Benji has been using charm on Igwe's daughter. Oh, guy is a lie. There's no doubt guy about it. Is a lie. Benji is not using charm or juju on Igwe's daughter. It's a lie. I disagree. Is that what you think? It, that's not even what I think. That is what happened. Igwe's daughter like him. Eh? 
like him. Uh -huh. What is so special in that boy that will make Igwe's daughters to be to be clean themselves for? Eh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. What is so special in him, you ask? Later you will soon find out. This is more than shameful, my king. You have struggled for years to keep a clear record. And this isn't supposed to happen to your legacy. Hello. The snake do not have a hand or leg. But if the leg did not put the snake to trouble, the hand will put the snake to trouble. You can bear me witness that I never trained my children that way. Of course, they are the smartest and most intelligent girls I have ever seen in my life. So where is their smartness? Oh no, where is their smartness when a commoner, a common cook, can deceive all of them and impregnate all of them. Where is their smartness and their intelligence? Eh? Where is their smartness and intelligence? This really hurts differently. Um, um, my king, where is the animal now? I got infuriated and I put him in the cage. I'm still thinking of what to do to him. If you ask me, I think you should make him take responsibility of this action. Exactly what I am doing. Originally, I wanted to send him to the military men to punish him severely before sending him inside that cage. Honestly, that was what I wanted to do. I don't think it is worst thing to do now, my king. He has gotten them pregnant dead. And you know it is against our culture and abomination for any woman to terminate any pregnancy, except by rape. My king, as we are Ono of this kingdom, a brother and best friend, I want you to make him take responsibility of his action. His name is Benji. Benji the cook He's calling the for kitchen and pot. Chai, if you chop his food, if only fun and met the loyal. If I see Benicia Michaka, I Benjin husband material. I if you chop his foot, I what's making you laugh? What's the meaning of this? Why are you laughing? Benji has broken the record in the history of this land. <laughs> and what's the meaning of that? Should I tell you? Benji is pregnant for Princess Ola. Even you, Princess Ola, that is to do big gay. Come on, will you get out of here? Get out of here! Come on, My daughter, I called you here because of the good news that I heard. But first, I want to thank you for coming out to dance for the prince when he came here. You really saved me the shame and embarrassment. So once again, thank you for doing that. It's nothing, Father. Like I said before, the shame and embarrassment I saved you doesn't mean that I wanted to dance for anybody. Uh, oh, don't say that. Ure, we know all that, but we're grateful you later did, because that dance changed the narrative in this palace, and we are happy. Honestly, that singular display of goodwill served my throne. Uh -huh. Today, I can have a successor. Yes, the prince is interested in marriage. To me? <laughs> what? Yes. 
He has even sent a message across that he has found his bride. And that is you. You're going to be a queen. <laughs> Mother, I told you people that I am not ready to settle down with any man, isn't it? Mother, I only did this to save the shame and embarrassment. That's all. My daughter, I am aware that you are not ready to settle down now. But please, you have to consider what happened in this family recently. Your sisters now have unwanted pregnancies and it's a big shame to this royal family. Automatically, it means they have to hide in this palace until they deliver. Urena, you are about the only person that will remove this shame and this embarrassment by accepting to marry the prince. Do that for us. Father, you Accept know it's not my wish. Eh? I want my sister to settle down before me. It doesn't matter. We know that is what you had wanted. But destiny has stated it clearly that you're the one that will be with the prince. Please help us. Help your family. Help our family. Help this land, this kingdom. Please, I beg you, my child. Do it for your father. Do it for the king, for the throne. Just give her time. Father, I will think about it. Good. Go ahead, think about it, oh? My sisters, I just got off a meeting with mom and dad. The prince of Imama Kingdom is asking for my hand in marriage. Serious? And by marrying him, will the kingship remain in our family? Wow. Oh, sis. Oh my God. This is a good news. I, I can't believe it. Listen, from the depth of my heart, I wish you all the best. I'm truly happy for you, okay? Thank you so much, sis. But the problem now is that I am not ready to marry anyone. Why? Oh, I, Uri, come on. I know why you're saying this. It's because you want us, your sisters, your elder sisters, to get married first, right? Exactly. Come on. Because time is the best. Everybody has their own destiny. And now is the right time for you to get married. That is your destiny. At the right time, we too will get married. So please grab the opportunity. You know, Ngoz is right, Ure. You've always been the most intelligent among us. This is your opportunity. Grab it. Don't say that. I know nothing. Boy, you know what I'm saying. You had several opportunities of sleeping without cook, but you didn't. Because you saw him for whom he is. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? It's just luck. It's not about being intelligent or whatever you call it. That I didn't sleep with him doesn't mean that maybe I don't like him. I wasn't ready to settle down with anybody. If I was, I would have done the same mistake you people did. Aww. Baby sis, listen to me. That luck you just mentioned right now is the reason I am very happy for you. And I wish you all the best, okay? But listen, what has happened to us has happened to us. We can't do without this pain. It's a pain we'll have to live with forever. But you now can help to ease this pain a little from us by accepting to marry the prince. That way you'll bring in some happiness and you know, we'll be happy again. It will make us happy to see you settle down with the prince. Just do this for us, okay? Yes, if he's right, you know. Just say yes to him and marry him. That way everything will be fine. Please just do it for us. You have our support. Mm. It will make us your sisters happy. It's your chance. Are you praising me? My princess, you deserve my praises. In fact, you are incomparable. Really? Yes. <laughs> you are different from others, and you are not pregnant like them. <laughs> uh, so, this is why you are praising me? Yes. <laughs> you are very funny, this boy. You. Thank you, anyways. You're welcome. Okay. My princess, my princess. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for everything. You are such a wonderful person. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you for everything, yeah? You're welcome. I came with your good news. Uh, what is it? I will be leaving soon. Like you'll be going to your room? No. I am getting married. You're joking, right? No, I am not. See, Mr. Benjamin, I am getting married to the Prince of Imama Kingdom. And I only agreed because of my parents. Marrying him will secure my father's throne when he passes on. My husband will become the king of this village. I love you. You can't just get married and leave me now. No, 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 no. I love you. I don't want you to go. I love you. Stop now. Mr. Benjamin, I love you so much. You're my best friend. I love you too. I'm sorry that you are getting to know this way. But I'll be leaving. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just... this I will still be coming here it's not as if I'm going forever Running. Uh, you want to beat me? You think I don't know? I said she come back here. Eh? Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? You see you in this palace. If I do not kill you, eh? Come here, fool. Take your zao. Take your zao. Are you not pregnant for Benji? Are you pregnant for Benji? The ordinary cook. Everybody knows you are pregnant for Benji. Everybody knows. Are you not pregnant? You are even shameless. Wait, you are not even shameless because if you are shameless, you don't have to do such a thing. No sense. Listen, sisters, we can't keep keeping malice because of what happened. What has happened has happened. I know by now we must have realized our mistakes. We can't keep battling with the regret of being impregnated by one man, one particular man, outside wedlock. This is actually a shameful act. I'm not proud of it. We've disappointed our parents. What we should be thinking about right now is how to move forward, how to move on from here. We can't keep living in regret. So I, I just want to use this opportunity to apologize to you both. In any way, I must have wronged you through my actions and works. Please, kindly find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am deeply sorry. I, I didn't mean it. It's okay, sis. I'm sorry as well. I'm sorry for insulting you, our elder sister. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for wanting what belongs to you, for allowing my jealousy and hatred to overshadow me. Please, forgive me. Please. Life is fine. Likewise, I. I am ashamed of myself. 
I am ashamed that I spoke to you two, my other sisters, the way I did. It's the circumstances and the situation that made me do all that. It's not in my character. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I wish I could turn the hands of, of time, but who am I? Please, just forgive me and let's start afresh. Let everything be new, like nothing ever happened. Like we used to be. Guys, it's okay, alright? It's fine, let's just move on. Okay? Come here. My love, why not come to bed? To do what? To sleep, of course. Aren't you tired? And you think with what is going on in my brain right now I can sleep? You think so? My love, the mistake has been made already. And the news is everywhere in this community. It's a thing of pain and shame. And we in need already. Do we have to kill ourselves over it? The more reason I think I won't even rest in peace even when I am dead. Can you please calm down? Calm down, there is no need for this fuse. We already have an heir to your throne in the person of Prince Fanyu Ohazulike, who is currently living with our daughter that has made us proud. And it's something for us to take solace from. Calm down. My queen, what our daughters did was so shameful, so discrediting to me as a king. Thanks are wagging. My people, they are disappointed in me, not them, for being a father. Oh my God, a father to horse, prostitutes. The whole king of a kingdom. What a shame. My love, mm. let's not dwell in the past. Mm. The deed has already been done. Let's think of a way forward. Let's do something, find something to do that will ease the shame. Let's not reminisce over the past. The question is, what do we do? Which is the very reason I am still standing on my toes when I am supposed to be resting my weak bones now? What do we do? My love, come to bed. It's okay. What do we do, my queen? I called this meeting for us to have an understanding concerning the shame you are carrying in your bellies. Your mother and I have decided that the cook shall take full responsibility for his actions. And because he cannot marry more than one wife, we have decided to give him a fee. What? As the eldest daughter of the family. How, father? What then happens to my own baby? Same goes to me. Father, what happens to my child then? Your children becomes mine. And the cook marries it. Ha! <laughs> father, no, that one will not happen. No. It will not happen, father. Stop all this. I don't understand. So why? Why? Why, Ify? You opened your mouth and said the cook will make his choice. Why are you giving him Ify? Why? Exactly, father. How could you even say that? Eh? That the cook should marry Ify? Then what happens to us? Eh, papa? Allow him to make his own choice of a woman 
the woman that you know that is good for him. Not telling him to uh, let's give him ify. Ha! Me, I will not agree. Oh, it's not possible. Okay, it's okay. You are all right. You know, you girls are very right. It's better to allow him to make his choice amongst you girls. That's the only fair thing to do here. Because he can't marry all of you at the same time. Right, my husband? Right. They say my food is not enough. They want my ojola jola. They said they hate me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Joy. Ordinary cook, don't don't to love a boy. I was in my heart to kick you, Jay. And I saw him as all. But now I don't. Benjamin, I thought of taking your life as a punishment for what you did. But after listening to several people, I decided on the contrary, on one condition that you must marry one of my daughters that you impregnated. You must. You, you heard me. Shh! Shut it. I don't love them. I don't love any of them. You will marry? Why? Benjamin! I was expecting a thank you from you. And not this garbage, this rubbish coming out of your mouth. Oh, you think it is an easy decision to spare your life? Now I give you only three days. Three days to take a decision on which of my daughters you are going to marry. Three days. What about your It is none of your business. Simple. Their children becomes mine as soon as you pick a wife. As soon as you take one as your wife, the rest becomes my children. Simple. Simple. Is Princess Uren that I love? Will you shut up? <laughs> Fool. You love her because you think she's the wisest. For not agreeing for you to deceive her like you deceived the others. And what makes you think she will want to set her eyes on you again after everything you did? Idiot. Because she's not as foolish as you are. Young man, I did not call you here to have any conversation with you. I only called you to give you an order. And if you don't, if you tell me, you face the dead consequences. Three days to pick one out of the lot. Listen to me. You think it's easy to be free? But I'll give you the freedom. I'll give you freedom. You are free to walk in any part of this town. But if you dare see your fury feet in the outskirts of this town, what happens to you? Ask God and not mine. My guards are everywhere. And our eyes are everywhere. You're We're looking go. at you. You are free to go. Go. Get out. Get out. Oh now, for for the frock will see if you eat. Leave my presence. I should let him go. Shh. Come, Come here. here. Listen to me, Okita. Have your ego eyes on him. Monitor him back to back. If you do something on the contrary, what happens to you? Ask God and not man. No mistakes. No excuses. Leave my presence. Yes, Your Highness. The command is final. Can you imagine what boldness? Majesty, why did they allow him to walk free? What if he if he escapes to another route? Eh? He will not. I have my guards everywhere. No, 
What if, if the other routes we do not know? Eh? Because every day new routes are created. Okay, what about if he escaped through the bush? What are we going to do? I have placed an order to shoot at sight. He cannot. And moreover, he is getting set to be part of royalty. Nobody wants to reject such offer. Don't worry, he will come around. My husband, I just hope you're doing the right thing. I hope so too. <laughs> this one you're hoping you're not, you're not sure? It will work. <laughs> Honest to God, I do not deserve this. I do not deserve this at all. Why me? Why, I mean, why me of all people? I can't believe that. And the doctor said I can't even live up to three more years. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's okay. You have to take it easy on yourself. The God herself will not allow anything to happen to you. Nothing bad will happen to you. I don't even believe what the doctor said because it does not have the final say over your life. Calm down, my daughter. Mom, mom, I'm sorry. I actually believe what the doctor is saying. I actually believe him. You can't say I'm dying. I'm dying. God forbid. Sister Ify, like what are you saying? That yeah. you're going to die? How can you be prophesying negativity upon yourself? And you call yourself a child of God? Please don't do that. You're not going to die and nobody will die. Please. You know, it, it amazes me as to how someone with such disease, with no signs and symptoms all this why, making it so difficult to believe. Alaydo, excuse you. Wait a minute. Are you freaking kidding me right now? No, no, no. Are you by any means trying to suggest that the doctor and I are making things up? No, like that's not what I'm saying. Just that. Just that I'm surprised and shocked at the same time. This is not the time for this. Someone here is not feeling too well. So let's just stop. It's time to stop it. Please. It's okay. Nothing will happen to you. Go for me. Sisters. You both know I'll be dying soon. Huh? I have just two to three years maximum to live before I die. And in as much as this is very difficult for me to accept, I have just one request I want to ask you guys for. I mean, a favor. What I'm about to ask you guys is the only thing that will make me happy. Please. Please. What is that request? Tell us, we will grant it for you. Okay? Exactly. Exactly, Six. We want you to be happy. Whatever it is, just let us know. We, your sisters, will grant it for you. Please. Whatever is the problem, whatever you want, just say it. Bring it up. We're your sisters, and we're here for you. And please, Sister Ify. I don't want you to be saying you're going to die today, you're going to die. You will not die. God in heaven will never allow you to die young. Never. Are you guys sure you will do it for me? Yes. It, it's... Talk to us. Um... I, I, I wish to be allowed to marry Benjamin. What? Eh? Please. Eh, it, it's not for too long. It's just for two to three years. Then I die. You guys will take up from where I stopped. <laughs> Sister Ify, did you listen to yourself? No, did you listen to yourself? Eh? Benjamin. Benjamin is who you're talking about. Everyone in your position, in your situation right now, should be looking for help, a way to get well. And you're here talking about marriage. That shouldn't be your concern. No! Yeah. But you guys promise to do whatever I, I ask for. Please, my sisters, this is my last wish. Please. 
If he, my dear beloved sister, you know, this race, <laughs> we are running this race together. And I'm not, I'm not stopping on the road for you. I can't. This particular request is not possible. It is not possible. But you are, you guys actually agree that you can do whatever I ask you to. Eh, uh, but not with Benjamin. You know, me too, I need more than you. <laughs> I need more than you. Please, that request is void. I thought you wanted to say something important. Gosh! My queen, stop crying. Nothing is going to happen to her. If anything should happen to my child, I have finished. Nobody is going to die. I'll kill myself. Oh. Nothing should happen to my baby. I'll kill myself. Nobody is killing herself here. Nothing is going to happen to our daughter. My God will not allow anything to happen to her. Okay? Stop it. Stop crying again. Stop. Stop. <laughs> nothing should happen to her. Nothing should happen. Just pray nothing happens to her. I Believe it or not, God will not allow that to happen to us. Okay? I cannot afford to lose a child at this time in my life. <laughs> okay, stop crying. They say my food is not enough. They want my jolla jolla. They said they hurt me before. Now Jesus. You are great God. Masakaya Rabo Santoromo. Masakaya Rabo Santo. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for sending me to this lovely family so that. They can be liberated from the spirit of death. Amen. 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 My king, I know you've been wondering why I came. For there is no smoke without a fire. I came as a spirit led me. There is a spirit of death hovering around this family. Jesus, I know you will not let this happen. I know. Masakaya was the Well, Evangelist, the doctor said one of my daughters has this uh, incurable, incurable disease. disease. Tamina? Yes. That's that it. she is going to die. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Papa Shantaramo It is to so never happen. In Jesus' name. Which of your daughter? This, this one. If he... You will not die. Amen. Amen. Never. Amen. Oh, praise to God Almighty. Oh, God, thank you. Woman, how are you sure about this? You want to die. Is that property that you want to acquire it? What is your problem? I put nothing one. <sighs> Thank you, Evangelist. But there is still spirit of death hovering round. And that is upon one of your daughters here. She! Yeah. Holy Ghost fire! Woman, you lie! I reject you in Jesus' name. Amen! I'm not dying. None of my children will die Amen. before me. Never! It's not my portion. She will what? die in three days' time. Holy Ghost fire! Eh? I reject you in Jesus' name. Woman, you lie. I reject you. I reject. Holy Ghost, why is not my portion in Jesus' name? Jesus. My king, we are powerless in the hands of death. It has been destined to happen, and it will. No. Evangelist, no, it will not happen. Please help me. You are an evangelist. You have the power of God in you. Please do something to avert this death, Biko. Why he been Biko? Me alone, I better Biko none. Basakai, we are supposed to throw Jesus. Jesus! It can only be you, my queen. Yes, evangelist. Her destiny can only be reversed if she will marry the father of her unborn child. What? 
and for them getting bonding so great so that their destinies can be interchanged. This is the message shown to me. Same if anyone that was supposed to die in few days' time because of one incurable disease is not going to die any longer. But Ola, for what? That she should die if she did not marry that cook. What is so special about this book? Honestly, I don't know. All I know is that I don't believe that evangelist. I don't believe one word she said. It's as simple as that. All those are prayers, those are speaking in tongues and all that. Those are shenanigans for me. I do not know what to believe anymore. But one thing I know is that none of my daughters will predecease me. None! That's my prayer as well. None of them will die. I will not cast my young. God forbid. Children will not die before me. God forbid. Father. What is it? Dad, um, I want to have a word with you. My daughter, it can wait. I don't need any disturbance now. Please. Dad, it's very... You can say I'm busy. It's very important. What I'm about to show you and what I'm about to tell you, I have evidence to my claims. What evidence, what claims are you talking about? Dad, take a look at this. You see this first picture? This is your daughter, Ife Yunwa, giving money to the doctor who came here to say she's sick and she's going to die. And here is your daughter, Oledo, busy giving money to the evangelist that came here to fake Sherry Mama that she's sick and she's going to die. What exactly is happening? Dad, they did all this because of Benjamin. Yes. And now, take a look at the third picture. This is your beautiful daughter, Ngozeka. You see her feeding Benjamin and taking care of Benjamin? This is how you know a wife material. Yes, I am the wife material here. I care so much about Benjamin. I am not desperate like them. So, Dad. With this evidence of mine... It's okay, it's okay. I've seen your evidence, I've seen your claims. I do not have this luxury of patience any longer. I must attend to something right away, okay? Okay. I can't fix it any longer. 
that with this you should know who deserves Benjamin better. That's what I'm trying to say. Just allow me to deal with this idiot decisively. Just allow me. You know their conditions, please. Just calm down. How dare you? How dare you lie with your health? How dare you? Oh, you want your mother and I to die of hypertension? Honestly. Isn't it? Father, I, I really... Shut up! I saw the pictures. I saw it. I saw the pictures where you were giving money to the doctor. <gasps> if anyone... I sent for the doctor to be arrested after confessing to me that he collected money from you to report an illness that you never had. Ah! Why? Remember. Why should you be so insensitive? If Why? Anyone. Ha! If anyone, so you're a devil. How you lying to your health? How? Will you shut up? God! Will you shut your mouth? Look at this. Ten and ten bets. What is the difference between you and her? You that gave money to a false evangelist. Yes! But I came here to say all manner of things. Even though I never believed her because I knew she was lying. My instinct was strong. But you went ahead. Had the F wanted to arrange with her to come here and make false proclamation about your life. Ola, is your life so meaningless, useless and worthless? You to lie and joke with death. Are you mad or something? Ola, come here. I said, come here now. Is your life so meaningless and worthless to you? Are you now joke with death? Are you mad? Look at that. You have indeed crossed the thin line between sanity and insanity. I made up my mind to punish you severely, if not for one thing. Your condition. Miserable conditions. This will be the last time I will entertain any discussion concerning the selection that is going to take place tomorrow. This is the last time. Now, get out of my sight. Ten and ten minutes. Out! Bloody twats. You are a total disgrace to what I represent. Monkeys. Monkeys. Where is that idiot? Where is that slimy bastard? You this girl. How dare you? No, how dare you, Gossica? How dare you take a picture of me and the doctor? And how dare you take a picture of me and the evangelist? How dare you? Don't even try to shout at me. How does it feel? After boasting of your smartness and being clever, how does it feel? <laughs> so, you two felt you can deceive I in Gozika. You can play a fast one on me. You lie. I knew there was something fishy. All of a sudden, everybody's getting sick. People are saying they are going to die just like that. Prophets, they coming, doctors, what nonsense. People are going to die just like that. And you think I'm a fool? I am not a fool. <laughs> My sisters. <laughs> you are a very wicked person. Okay. Very wicked. Yeah. You know you should have come to me first instead of going to find out. Oh, did you come to me first before going to meet the doctor? No. The same thing I did. I just did you a favor to save the old man from dying. Dad, your firstborn is not going to die. You want that man to die? No. I helped you to tell him that. And also to let him know and be careful about the fake prophet. Sherry Baba Baba is actually a fake. So, my sisters. Isn't it a miracle that nobody's going to die? <laughs> okay, we look like we are playing here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
His name is Benji. Benji the Kukudaya. He's calling the fucking. Ogidi. Yes, Your Highness. Go and fetch Benji for me. Tell him that today is the day he chooses a bride out of my daughters. Tell him that I said that by now he must be aware of the person he has chosen as a bride. Fetch him. I want him immediately. Yes, Your Highness. Have a visual suite. Benjamin. Your Highness. Today is the day you are going to choose a bride out of my daughters. My daughter that you have pregnanted. And I want to remind you. Anyone you chose becomes your wife. And the ones you did not choose their children becomes my children at the end of the day. Go ahead and make your choice. Your Highness, thanks for the opportunity. But I still maintain my stand. I am not interested in any of them, except Princess Urena. And for that reason, and I have the reason for what I'm saying. Go! Get him! Get him immediately! What was that? What, what is happening? Hey! Hey! What was that? Hey! Ask me! What was that? What was that? Hey! Benjamin! You are time you police. Benjamin! Hey! What are you? Is anything Benjamin? Hey! It don't happen. I tell you, we say that Benji do a mission for this palace. But you will not believe me. You want to look my size, forget my sense. I even tell you, you will call me prophet. You will tell me if I don't get anything to say, make I come out. You see, that is why I won't say, see, I me mean, don't happen. Everybody, everybody, they, everybody get pregnant. Even our queen, imagine, queen, queen get belly for Benji, ordinary queen. Even our king, Obu no Obu Luigwe, I suppose they are pregnant. Maka if I name no why, everybody get there. Yes, all the kids they are pregnant. Maka afuku. They say my food is not enough. They want my yojola yojola. They say they hate me before. Now they come, they love me die. Jai, ordinary cook. But now I don't bless you. I go get joy again. I 
Let's go. 